Hello and welcome back to the channel today. So thank you to everybody for joining me today on this one. This one's going to be um, old world versus new world tarantulas. So I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube from various different people um, explaining their version of this. So this is just my take of old world versus new world. A lot of this information you can find online, but I just wanted to do what I think old world versus new world is and also what I have in my collection. So all the ones at these different variations that I have. So with over 900 different species of tarantulas, I'll put up a few images here so you can see some of the different tarantula species. Uh, there is a lot of diversity in the tarantula world that range from the size of like your thumbnail basically to like a frisbee size or like the, the dinner plate size as they call. So there's a few of them coming here so you can see and have a look at them. So in this as well, they consist of fossorial species, uh, terrestrial up there and arboreal species. Um, but their most basic level, it can be divided into two different groups, which is the old world and the new world. So what do I mean by old world and new world? So if we look, have a look at both of them, so we start with old world, which basically means tarantulas from the Eastern Hemisphere. So if you're looking at the globe, so like the Eastern Hemisphere, and this is now brought down to a continent such as Asia, Africa, and Europe, plus Australia, but that obviously breaks down into like the, the funnel webs and stuff like that as well. Uh, these tarantulas lack the urticating hairs. I'll put a picture up here showing you. Okay, so New World means tarantulas from the Western Hemisphere, such as North and South America, and also the Central America region. These tarantulas um, have urticate hairs as their main form of defense. They flick leaves at any threat, uh, which cause intense itching on the skin, um, can also damage the eyes, and also damage, um, it could be lodged in the throat, so it could also affect the breathing of mammals and other creatures who are obviously trying to eat the tarantula. So again, new world tarantulas tend to have stockier bodies, so they're a bit more bigger, and some are more docile and slow moving. But then breaking that down doesn't mean that all big body docile tarantulas are docile. Some in the hobby can have different personalities and they can be um, more flicking more hairs so they tend to look more bold but then they can go into threat posture as well so there is a different variant in that um, area okay the old world tarantulas again we go back to those they are much more willing to bite like straight away in self-defense uh, they tend to be much more skittish and um, quick to run away and will show threat posture so some of them literally it's broken down into different ones of the old world species. Some are a little bit more calmer, but some will be a lot more skittish. Some will raise up straight away and they will show a threat response, even though you haven't even done anything. You're just going in to do maintenance on the enclosure or something like that. But generally some will just be skittish and run away. But what I tend to find is some of my old worlds, like Pulse of Theories, I tend them to be a lot more calmer than what they're classed as as well. So whether they know they've got more potent venom, I don't think it's that, they just tend to be a little bit more um, docile themselves. So now what we'll do is we're gonna go in and show you which ones I have in my collection. Okay, so at the top, you can see the Pulsothea Metallica. And that's uh, when I was pairing recently, that's a mature male at the top there, uh, female slightly below that. You can see by the vibrant colors. Then to the bottom right, you have the Orphanaceous Dichromatus, which is the Black Fury Tarantula, which I did do a video recently on that. So that's another feisty old world species. And then to the left, as we all probably know, is the OBT, which stands for the Orange Baboon Tarantula. Uh, and that one is called Trump, which is an adult female of mine, which sadly passed away. But these are just three that I have in my collection. I do have more of the old world varieties but it was just so hard to choose which ones to quickly show you so i thought i'd just show you the attempted pairing at the top from the p metallicas uh the rehouse i did of the orphanaceous dichromatus and also rehouse i did quite a while ago of the obt so these are all some that are in my collection but i think you'll agree they are all beautiful in their own right so absolutely stunning these tarantulas and i hope you could see all of those in these 
Okay, so here are my new wild species. I've got a lot more, but there's just three that I picked. So on the left, we have the Avicularia avicularia uh, feeding. And at the bottom, we have the Caribbean versicolor, which I think is one of the most popular ones in the hobby. And at the top there, we have the Carabina lieta, which I have in my collection, but I've not done many videos of this because it's a heavy webber and it just webs its enclosure to the point um, I can never ever see this one. So I just thought I'd put a little bit of a clip in there. This is the most I've got out of this one, there you go, in uh, a long time. So we'll try and feature this one on the channel uh, in the future. But these are some of the new worlds a lot more vibrant in color as well and they're absolutely gorgeous as well so i hope you can see all the clips there and i hope you enjoyed this video so please leave comments below just to let me know and give me your feedback as well so thanks very much and i'll see you on the next video